Are you searching for the best orthodontic coverage in 2023? Well, it's Dr. Nate here at Thrive Dental and Orthodontics, and I'm gonna walk you through what you should be looking for, what does not matter at all, and at the very end, I'm gonna tell you my favorite orthodontic insurance. All right, so let's jump right into it. First thing that you probably don't need, but everybody tends to look at this first for some reason, is the percent coverage of orthodontic insurance. And this is something that people look at all the time, but in the end, it probably doesn't matter as much because this is what happens. Somebody goes, hey, I have 50% orthodontic coverage, or I have 100% orthodontic coverage, or I have 80% orthodontic coverage. Is that how much is going to be covered by my insurance? And the answer typically is no. It typically does not make much of a difference if you have a full treatment. If you have partial treatment, then that comes into play. But if you have a full treatment, that typically doesn't matter because this is how it works. Say your insurance coverage says that they're gonna have, they're gonna give you 80% coverage and your treatment plan costs 5,000 bucks. You might think that 80% of that's gonna be covered. So that's what, like 4,000 or so? Don't don't quote me on my math, but think of it's about 4,000. So you're gonna say, hey, cool, I have 4,000 bucks of orthodontic coverage, when that actually is not true. The thing you should be paying the most attention to is your annual lifetime maximum. Your annual lifetime maximum is actually the full amount that you can spend on orthodontic coverage. And this typically does not renew, hence the name annual lifetime maximum. So that is the thing that I say to, for people to look at more so than percentage coverage. So you already know what you shouldn't look for and I'm, I already alluded to probably the first thing you actually should be looking for and that is your annual lifetime max. So when choosing a plan, make sure your annual lifetime max is as high as you possibly can get. Obviously, you're gonna to have to weigh out the monthly payments for your dental insurance versus how much you're gonna actually be saving while using your orthodontic coverage, but I like to tell patients to get the highest coverage they can get while in braces because if you do, you can potentially save thousands. There are some orthodontic insurances that cover up to 3,500, 3,000, 3,500. Those are top amazing plans and that can save you thousands of dollars on your braces. So number one, check out your annual lifetime maximum of orthodontic coverage. The second thing you should look for is your age limit and work in progress. I'm combining two different things into one. So age limit, that means if you are too old and potentially the coverage just goes up to maybe 20, 21, 23, 24, 25, and you are 30, 35, that means you will not have orthodontic coverage. Even though it states, yes, you have you know, two or $3,000 of orthodontic coverage, you're gonna to be too old for that particular plan. There are a ton of plans that offer ortho adult coverage. You just have to seek those out. Work in progress is slightly different. That means if you already have braces on, you wanna make sure that the new insurance you're gonna get covers work in progress. And what that means is that means if you have braces on and you get a, a new insurance, it may or may not cover you with those braces that you have on right now. So that's something important to know if you currently have braces. The third thing, and this gets a lot of people, and that is waiting period. If your insurance plan has a large waiting period, and I've seen waiting periods up to a year, I don't think there's many that are more than that, but you can get the orthodontic coverage today, and you have to wait a full year before you can utilize those services. So if you wanna get your braces right away, and you're thinking of getting a new orthodontic insurance plan, you wanna make sure that waiting period is ideally zero days. Ideally, you get the insurance today and tomorrow you can use it. Okay, so now you have it. Those are the three main things you need to look at. You wanna make sure that the waiting period isn't too long. You wanna make sure if you have braces, it covers work in progress and that you're not too old for the coverage that you have. You wanna also make sure you're looking at your lifetime max more so than the percentage. Remember, the percent coverage doesn't matter too much with ortho. It matters a ton with general dentistry, but not so much with ortho. So here's the bonus. What's the dental insurance or orthodontic insurance that we like the most? Right now, this is 2023. Keep in mind, this can change year to year and potentially month to month, but we really like MetLife because MetLife has a great payout. It pays you roughly $3,000. So that's gonna make your payments $3,000 less, which is obviously a ton of money. So like I said, I like insurances that have a big, big annual lifetime max so that you have to pay the least amount 
for your beautiful new smile. So once again, Dr. Nate here, and I hope that helps you choose your orthodontic insurance in 2023. And remember, insurance has changed definitely year to year, sometimes quarter to quarter and half year to half year. But that is what I think is the best here in 2023. If you have any other questions or concerns, please let me know. But you're probably maybe trying to decide if you're gonna do clear braces, metal braces, or Invisalign. So I'm gonna to link to that video here so you can make the best, most informed decision possible.